Hello boys and girls, welcome to Children's Church Online. I'm Uncle Simba. And I'm Auntie Blessing and the girls won last week. Yay! Oh, can you guys just stop? Guys, we hard. I'm here for redemption. Today, the boys are gonna win. Can I get a hoo 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 from the boys? And gonna get a yay yay from the girls! <laughs> and it's fine, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Let's talk about the past two weeks. Yeah, we've been talking about this awesome guy full of awesomeness. He had a special coat. Yeah, was hated by his brothers. Thrown in a pit. Went to Egypt. And possibly in jail right now. Shh, that's bad. In jail. Yeah, it's still sad, right? Yeah. Yeah, really sad, but not like how I'm going to be happy just now when I, when the girls win no, against no, no, the no, boys. No, 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 don't worry. No, I will get to that later. Okay. But you know what? God had very big plans for this guy. Uh, yeah, and he was so special. Can you imagine? Yeah. Are you special? I am special. I really do feel special. I feel special because I'm winning today. And, <laughs> oh, but the boys and girls at home, do you also feel special? So if you guys haven't watched these videos, I'd like you to go back and look for them. Ask your mommy, ask your daddy, where are those videos? Yes, and you can watch the girls winning. Okay, so here we are today mm -hmm. here. We're playing the cup stacking game yeah. today. Yeah. And just to make this fun, Girls and boys, if the boys lose today, someone is getting pie in the face next week. Yes, and a pie in the face for the boys. Let's go, girls. Who? Who? Let's go. Girls, Come girls, on, boys. girls, 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 boys, girls, let's girls, do this. girls, 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 girls. All right. Are you ready, Uncle Simba? Okay, so for this game, we need to stack our cups to the mm -hmm. full height and need to put the cups back together again. Yeah. Whoever does that first wins. Yeah, and it's the girls. The it's girls. The boys. It's the boys. It's the girls. Are you ready, Uncle Simba? I'm good. Okay. Um, Starting in. Are they enough? Yeah. Yeah. I've got six. Okay. Let's cool. go. Come All on, right. girls. You guys should be cheering Come on, me boys. up. Let's Ooh. go. Can I get a hoo hoo hoo? And get a yay yeah, yay yeah, from the girls. <sighs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, I am. Okay. Starting in three, two, one. Go. Let's go. Boys cups. win. No, I no, 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 no. Girls, boys. We, Uncle Simba, can win. you do a rerun again? Boys, can you yes, give a please. rerun? Yes. Boys. For the girls. Boys. What? My cup was stuck, Uncle Simba. Can we start again? Okay, we'll start again. Yes, and we, the girls, need to win this thing. Okay, we'll see. We're not getting a pie in our faces. Okay. So, okay, let's make it a best of three. Okay. So, I've won the first one. Okay. Okay. And this then the we one. will win the second one. Yes, girls, uh, let's go. I, I need so. more. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I hope yeah. so. Yeah. All right. In three, two, one, go. Sorry guys, I'm sorry guys. Yeah. Okay, okay, so it's one. It's so fine. It's I've got a chance. Fun. I've got a chance. Yeah, we got this, girls. We got this. Pie we in the face. Pie yes, in the pie face. in the face. Pie in the face. Well, okay, boys. okay. Let's Are go. you ready? All right, let's, I'm good. Let's get going. Three, two, one. Go. Why are you saying three, two, one? Why can't I say three, two, one? Uh, okay, you yeah. can say it. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's fine. <clears throat> three, two, one. Ah, no. Boys win. And the girls. Boys win. I'm sorry, girls. I'm trying my girls best. Girls two. Boys one. Boys, we're back in this. But it's time to watch the video. Yes. Please enjoy. It's time for a Bible story. The story of Joseph, part three. Do you need another refresher to get you caught up to speed on what happened last time? Nah, man. I got this. Check it out. I'm going to do a rapid fire recap. Ready? Go. <gasps> Joseph had 11 brothers and they were jerks. And then he had some dreams where everything was bowing down to him and his brothers threw him in a pit and sold him into slavery. And then he worked for Potiphar and then Potiphar's wife was a big jerk face and lied about him and threw him in the jail. Boom. Wow, that was actually pretty impressive. And yes, that's exactly where our story picks up. Joseph was wrongfully accused and thrown into jail, but it wasn't just a regular jail. This was a prison where all of the king's prisoners were sent. So it was extra secure. 
There is no way anyone was getting out of this place. Yeesh. So I guess that's about it for old Joseph, huh? Well, it was fun while it lasted. The end. No way, man. This is totally not the end of the story. Even though it looked like his situation was getting worse, the Lord gave Joseph great favor with everyone around him. The guards liked Joseph so much that they let him help out around the prison, they didn't even lock him up. Whoa, that's crazy. So that's what you mean when you were saying that through this whole deal, the Lord was with him? You bet. Because Joseph had a great attitude, was respectful, and cared about other people, his time spent in prison wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. In fact, Joseph was so good at noticing people around him and going out of his way to care about them that one day, something happened that would change his life big time. Oh yeah, you said last time there was this big thing coming up. Is this it? Yep. And you're not going to get me with another to be continued, are you? Well, I'll let you know next time. To be continued. Ah, you got to be kidding me. Yeah, I was just joking. We're not done yet. Whew, thank goodness. Really got me good there. So what happened? Since this prison was where all of the king's prisoners were sent, there were two men that used to work directly for the pharaoh. One was a baker. The other was a cup bearer. Wait, a cup bearer? His job was to put bears in cups? That sounds hard. You gotta either have some big old cups or some tiny bears. No, he wasn't a bear cupper. He was a cup bearer. That meant that he would serve drinks to the pharaoh in a cup. Ah, uh, gotcha. That makes more sense. So these guys were in jail, huh? Yep. Since Joseph was in charge of the prison, the guards assigned these two guys to him. Then, one night, both the baker and the cupbearer each had some pretty strange dreams. Oh boy, here we go again with the dreams. Oh, speaking of dreams, last night I had this crazy dream where my ears turned into chili dogs. No! Ah! Uh -uh. I don't want to hear any more about your crazy dreams. We're talking about their dreams. The next day, Joseph could tell that something was bothering them. Both the cupbearer and the baker looked like they didn't sleep very well and were all stressed out. Well, I mean, they are in prison, not exactly a stress-free environment. Yeah, but this was different. Joseph was very good at noticing people around him and caring about them. So he asked them what was bothering them. They told him that they had some very strange dreams, but didn't know what they meant. I know what my dream meant, that I shouldn't eat chili cheese dogs right before I go to sleep. Well, that's true. But when Joseph heard that they were troubled by their dreams, he thought of something. Back home, God helped Joseph understand what his dreams meant, so he offered to help interpret the dreams of the baker and the cupbearer. Hey, look at that! Joseph's in jail? These guys go there too. Joseph can interpret dreams? These guys have dreams that need to be interpreted. You weren't kidding about God having a plan for Joseph's life, huh? Exactly. The cupbearer and the baker both told Joseph what their dreams were, and God revealed to Joseph what those dreams meant. The cupbearer's dream was about a vine and three branches that sprouted grapes, and he squeezed those grapes into the Pharaoh's cup. Joseph told him what that meant, that in three days, he would be released and would go back to his job serving drinks to the Pharaoh. Good for him, that's awesome. So what about the baker's dream? In the baker's dream, there were three baskets of bread sitting on top of his head. A bunch of birds flew up and started eating out of one of them. Unfortunately, Joseph told him that this meant that in three days, the Pharaoh would have him killed. Yikes! Classic case of the old good news, bad news, huh? Did those things come true? They sure did. Three days later, the cupbearer was restored back to his job and the baker was, well, let's just say he sleeps with the fishes. What? Gross. Why would you sleep in a pile of fish? Ugh, that would smell terrible. No, like, you know, he took a dirt nap. Wait, now he's sleeping in the dirt? I mean, that's better than a pile of fish, but still, just sleep in a bed, dude. No, he died. Oh. Gotcha! Took a double dip out of the old cosmic cookie jar, huh? Yeah, that's not a phrase. Never mind. So what happened next? Those guys just left and Joseph stayed in jail? Not exactly. Before the cupbearer left, Joseph asked him to tell the pharaoh about his situation, that he was wrongfully accused of something that he didn't do and thrown into jail. Oh, awesome. This is his chance to get set free. Did the cupbearer remember to tell the pharaoh about him? Uh, no. He forgot. What? You gotta be joking me. So Joseph just stays in prison? Bummer. He did for a while, but not forever. Two years after the cupbearer was released, something happened with Pharaoh. He had some strange dreams and didn't know what they meant. It really bothered him. Hey, this sounds familiar. Someone had a strange dream that needs to be interpreted. Who are you gonna call? Dream Buster! The Pharaoh got all of his wise men, sages, and the magicians together and told them to interpret the dream, but none of them knew what it meant. Then, all of a sudden, the cupbearer remembered that Joseph can interpret dreams. Yes, it's about time you remember about him. Tell the Pharaoh, tell the Pharaoh! That's exactly what he did. 
Pharaoh called for Joseph to be brought before him and explained what the dreams were. In one dream, there were seven fat, healthy cows standing by the Nile River. Then seven skinny, ugly cows came out of the river and ate up the fat cows. Uh, hold on. Why are you giving me all the grief for my dreams? That was the weirdest dream I've ever heard. The Pharaoh also dreamed that there was a stock of wheat with seven healthy heads of grain. Then seven other heads of grain sprouted that were thin and sun-scorched and they swallowed up the healthy grains. Whoa, talk about weird dreams. Joseph's really got his work cut out for him, huh? What in the world? did those mean? God revealed to Joseph what the dreams meant, and he told Pharaoh everything. He said that there would be seven years of plenty in the land of Egypt, with more than enough food for everyone. But after that, there would be seven years of famine where there would be nothing to eat. Whoa, uh, that's pretty serious. So, like, what did Pharaoh do? He was so relieved to know what the dreams meant. He was also so glad to know that the famine was coming in seven years so everyone could start preparing and storing up food. Awesome! But wait, what happened to Joseph? Please don't tell me he goes back to jail. If he goes back to jail, I'm just gonna start swinging. No, he didn't go back to jail. The Pharaoh was so impressed with Joseph that he gave him a job. Pharaoh made Joseph second in command over all of Egypt. What? Seriously? The big number two? Second in command? That is awesome! Yeah, man. The only person in the entire country with more power than Joseph was Pharaoh himself. Man, that is pretty incredible. You were totally right about God having big plans for Joseph's life. Doesn't get much bigger than that. No kidding. Joseph's life was totally changed. And it probably wouldn't have happened like that if he didn't notice the people around him back when he was in jail. And something else was about to happen that nobody expected. Nice try. I see you coming a mile away. You're about to do another to be continued, aren't you? I sure am. Bam! Yep, I called it. Totally called it. Welcome, Officer Ngululu. Welcome, Jordan. Hello, Uncle Simba. Hey, Uncle Simba. How are you guys hey, doing? Hey, Officer Gulu. It is Ngululu. That's what I said. Officer Gulu. Ngululu. Jordan, oh. Jordan, yeah, it's what? Officer Gulu. That's what I said. Officer Gulu. Okay, okay. It is Ngululu. Okay, let me try that. Anyway, that Goo, Jordan, loo, 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 Jordan, loo, loo. that's fine, guys. We need to focus on the video. What a great video, guys! Video about Joseph. What that's do you guys right, think? Uncle Simba. Yeah, God really did something big for Joseph. Yes, He but did. Did you see that prison? Wow, the security. Wait, wow, the prison. Wait, are you guys serious? You, you only care about prison. Did you not see all that bread? I saw all that bread, and I am hungry. So typical, bread? Jordan. No. Always thinking about eating. No, I'm not. Whoa, 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 guys. What's going on here? Jordan eats too much. No. He's like a pie thief. No. I should arrest him right now. For oh, stealing all the pies in Harare. No, what? <sighs> no, Uncle Simba, do you hear what he said? How insulting. I, uh, Officer Ngulu, you are the worst policeman in the world. Jordan? You know, you couldn't even what? arrest what? even an what? ant if he tries. That, that's, that's it. That's it. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. I command you in the name of the... I, I come arrest you. Come here. Officer. What? Officer, uh, no. Officer Ngululu, oh, no. chill. Simba. Officer Ngululu, can you take no, a chew? Oh, no. <laughs> come, uh, on, come on. It's, it's okay, Jordan. It's okay, Jordan. <laughs> Officer Ngululu, look, Jordan is crying now. No. Guys, we're supposed to be having church. Okay. I shouldn't have called you a pie thief. But you said no, you no, no, no. The world. That's not good. No, no. Jordan? No, what? But, okay, but. Guys, no buts. You know what? In the video, Joseph had it worse than this. What? He was hated by his brothers. Think of that. Whoa. Whoa. Those brothers. Hey. I should call them Chibage Bandit Brothers. Oh, the bandits. Chibage. I'm no. so hungry. I'll guys. Be Chibage. There you go again. Guys, about food. let's no, focus. Let's focus on the video. Joseph had it worse than this. Potiphar's wife lied about Joseph. And Joseph was thrown into prison. Wait, Think I of that. How, Uncle Simba, I know how that feels. Last mm. week, I had a bully who made me feel like a loser. But you know what, Uncle Simba? Let's take revenge. No. Oh. I'm thinking of an ice, ice bucket. No. Uh, ice bucket? That, yes. That's bad. What? You know, Jordan? What? Even at a point when Joseph had it worse than this, he still thought about others. Oh. He thought about the cupbearer. Oh. He thought about the baker. Did you guys think of that? Oh, I see where this is going. Me too. You see, Joseph was in the prison, but he still had the courage to take care of others. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, you are right, Uncle Simba. Yes. And, Jordan. You, and you know what? He actually took care of the cup bearer. He took care of the baker whilst in prison. Wow. Think of that. Jordan, yeah? I'm sorry I called you a pie thief. You're not a pie thief. I should have considered your feelings before I spoke. 
Oh, me too, Officer Guru. I'm so sorry. Everyone knows that you're a super awesome policeman. Wow, that's good, that guys. That catches all the Chibage bandits. <laughs> Chibage, oh, yeah. There you go again, he thinking not, about food. No, 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 guys. Let's bring it back, guys. You know, actually, our memory verse today is Hebrews yeah? turn, verse 24. What does it say? It says, let us think of ways to motivate each other to acts of love and good works. Wait, Uncle love. Simba. Body boys in the house! Lights, <laughs> camera, action! Oh, and okay. wait! And my sidekick, Officer Ngulu! No, oh, where's Body Boys coming from? Sidekick? Why are you calling me a sidekick? You should be my sidekick. No, what? But Uncle Zipper, you said we should be motivated to be actors. So we are acting, oh, and no. I am Body oh. Boy! No, and with guys! My sidekick, no. Officer Ngulu! No. I should kick you in the side. Uh, what? No, 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 Jordan. It doesn't say act. It doesn't say motivate each other to act. It says motivate each other to acts of love and good works. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like helping people around us? Yes. Like that, Jordan. What can you do? Okay, I got it, Uncle Simba. So, like, it's like me helping my mom to do the dishes? Yes. And that's, I'm thinking about ways to help her? Yes, exactly. You know what, guys? Actually, when Jesus is here, he used to go around serving other people, doing good works, and wow. showing love to other people. And we are supposed to do that. Oh. Roger that, Uncle Simba. Yeah. If everyone considered each other, and one another, and we serve each other, we would do a lot of good work. Yes, exactly. And you know what? Boys yeah. and girls, I want you guys to think of things you can do to encourage to encourage each other to do good works and yeah. love one another, to serve each other. Think of ways, think of things you can do at home, right? You can help your mommy, help your daddy, take care of your little brother, do something at home to help each other. Okay? Maybe we should pray for the boys and girls uncle. Yes, wow. Pray. Wow, that's good, Officer Gululu. Actually, let's pray now. Let's pray. Okay. Father, I thank you for all the boys and girls watching today. Father, I thank you that you are speaking to them, Jehovah, and I thank you that you are helping them and motivating them to do acts of love and good works at home, to take care of things around the house, to take care of their little brothers, and to help their mummies and their daddies. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen! Amen! Uncle Simba, thanks for that lesson. It was really great. And you know what? I want to be like Joseph and serve other people. Yes, Jordan. Thank you. When we serve each other, it makes God happy. Wow, that's so good, guys. Boys and girls, we are done here. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. So let's say bye, guys. Bye, bye boys and girls. Bye. Bye, Simba. Bye, Absaguru. Bye, Jordan. Bye, guys. <laughs>